Love Train by Confunction. So, uh, starts out here with the D major. And it goes to a C sharp suspended, but let's take a look at the D major. So it's just D in the bass and D major 7, except I'm playing the E, which is the ninth. And then, you know, you got your C sharp uh, suspended. So it's just a B major triad in the right hand, and then your C sharp in the left hand. And then you go into the verses, you know, it's like... Uh, Anyways, so that part is just, uh, it's F sharp suspended. So it's, you have F sharp as a bass and an E major triad in the right hand. That's the suspended. You take the bass note, you drop it down a whole step, and then that triad. So F sharp, drop down a whole step, is E, so it's E triad. And then it's going to be B minor 7. In this case, the uh, you know the B is taken care of in the root, and you got the third, the fifth, and the seventh, uh, which comprise the major triad. And that's just I'm adding the A major there just because it sounds good. Back to the F sharp suspended. to, uh, so this is kind of a weird chord, but it starts out with, um, this is E suspended, so you know, E in the bass, drop down a whole step, and then that's your triad, so it's D major triad, E suspended, and then this one's kind of weird, it, it's just, there's no other way to say it, but E major triad in the right hand, and D in the bass, so again, that's E suspended, to D in the bass and E major in the right hand. And then keep that E major in the right hand and drop the bass down to a C sharp. And that's just C sharp minor 7 if you take a look at it. So right now we got... And the bass comes up to F sharp in the bass with A major triad. So the whole thing about, you know, R&B is that a lot of times they'll play minor seven chords by playing the bass note and you know in the bass and then instead of like playing the F sharp minor seven chord like this they'll take this triad here and do an inversion of that so instead of playing you know this boring old that you know A in first or in zeroth inversion you take it to the second inversion or the first inversion in this case just sounds a lot cooler. So anyways, we got, we started with uh, E in the bass and D major. And that's our F sharp minor 7. And then it goes up to an A flat in the bass. And it's the same whole R&B trick that I just talked about. It's a, mi or a flat in the bass and it's A flat minor. bumps up to B in the bass with a A, D, F sharp. So this is D, you know, D major triad in second inversion. So this that again, it's... And then it's... So that's actually B minor 7. And then it jumps up to C sharp suspended, which is C sharp in the bass and an E major triad in the right hand. So again, it's A flat in the bass, A flat minor 7, B minor 7, C sharp suspended. And then it resolves to uh, D major 7. So that's just, you know, I'm just playing the D major 7 with the 9th, the E right there. And then it hops down to C sharp suspended again. 
I'll be your right just to love her. And then it goes back to the verses, you know. about that bridge right there one more time because it was a lot of chords so it started with or it started with E in the bass and D major triad the D major triad heads up to an E major triad and the bass goes down to a D then you stay in the E major triad but the bass goes to a C sharp bass goes up to an F sharp, and the right hand you play A major triad, so it sounds like bass goes up to A flat, and you play this here, triad here, it's whatever you want to call it, B major and second inversion, heads up to a B minor 7, which is just D major triad in the right hand, B in the left hand, and then C sharp in the left hand, E major triad in the right hand. So again, that's... And then down to D major 7 with a 9. sharp suspended. B major in the right hand, C sharp in the left hand. To the verses! Oh, shit.